The Tennessee House just passed a bill completely gutting marriage equality. Um, you know, we just talked about marriage equality and the president's support of it and the belief that um, it's very simple. It's just about love and not trampling on or trying to dictate the love of other people. The Tennessee House of Representatives have, has passed a bill that would allow people to refuse to perform a marriage if they, quote, disagree with it. According to the bill which passed Monday night, a person shall not be required to solemnize a marriage. The bill which now moves to the state Senate in the, is the latest in an onslaught of measures which the Tennessee legislator has passed attacking LGBTQ plus rights. This bill could also apply to couples where at least one partner is transgender or including mixed race couples. So just if you disagree with the marriage in any in any way um, and, and claim any sort of objection to it, you thus don't have to marry the people. And as we talked about a lot on this show and the soapbox that I love to get on about this sort of a thing is if you're performing a public service, then you should not have the right to claim um, religious beliefs or some other belief basis for a reason to not perform that service. If you're going to be a, a doctor and provide health care, if you're going to work for the government and provide um, a, a legal service, which let's face it, marriage is a legal service. You sign a, a legal document and it is registered. And to break that legal document, you have to go through the court system in a divorce. And um, there's no way to do that just sort of in your house. So um, it is a it is a public service and thus should be one of those things where you can't claim some kind of, of belief um, to get yourself out of providing that service. It should be one of those things that is intrinsic in providing that service and getting into that position. You have a responsibility to the public to provide that service for them. And thus, if you are unwilling to prov provide that for all people, then you should not be uh, providing that service in general at all. When we talk about people who are making cakes and things like this, um, I, I, I feel like it's a, a much more a, a much more fraught topic and there's a lot more gray area and subjective opinion uh, involved in that. Um, and they need they all need to be looked at differently. But when it comes to a public service like that, that's something that you need in order to pro get something done legally or something that is is necessary for human life, like medical service and things like that. You shouldn't be in those fields if you're unwilling to provide those services to everyone. Um, you know, and it's it's just really sad to see in in cases of like medical issues and things like that where people take a Hippocratic oath um, and then refuse to provide service for people. In this case, of course, you know, um, justice of the peace, people pro providing um, marriage is um, <laughs> the requirements for that are. Are low. It's a really low bar. You can go on and sign on to a uh, an online church and get registered within. I, I I think it's in under 20 minutes. You can get registered and be able to legally marry people. 